Hello, royal folks. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. A royal expert has said that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's possible presence at the Christmas celebrations at Sandringham would only dampen the spirits among other attendees. The couple are not expected to be traveling to Norfolk for the first Christmas since Queen Elizabeth II died and King Charles became the head of the family. Some reports have suggested that the couple opted out of the festive plans as early as October 2022. Harry and Meghan now live in Montecito, California, and the son claimed that they had no plans to leave home for the Christmas period. One of the possible reasons is Harry's upcoming memoir, which is titled Spare. On November 24, royal biographer Angela Levin, a long outspoken critic of Harry and Meghan, said there are to be paying no. Harry and Meghan aren't coming, which I think will be a huge relief for the rest of the family, she said. The family will want to make it a very positive day after the Queen's death, Levin said, and I think the Sussex's presence would most certainly dampen that. There is apparently less of an overwhelming desire for every family member to be in one place at Christmas now that the Queen has died, in comparison to if this was considered to likely be her final Christmas. The Queen's death means that there won't be as much pressure to have all of the family together, which is good, because it seems Harry and Meghan won't be present, she said. Levin also suggested that the upcoming Netflix documentary about Harry and Meghan could be a factor. It's very interesting that they tried, especially Harry, very, very hard to get it out for after Christmas, she said. It makes me feel that they could very well attack the monarchy again and be very nasty about the king despite the fact that he lost his mother. It's been said that they're not coming, but it also I think on what the documentary is like, whether or not they would be invited at all, she continued. It's up the Sussexes on whether they want their children to know what their father's family is like, but also it could be a case where the royals don't want them there after the documentary. On one level, it looks like Harry and Meghan want their kids to know, but on another they don't. They want titles for them, but they don't want them to mix with the very people who can give them to them. Every time you think, they can't get much worse, they just do, and I feel as if that is how the family is feeling also, she concluded. So what do you think, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.